on Thanksgiving holiday Monday, BC Conservative leader John Rustad and BC NDP leader David Eby were busy making public announcements to endorse their campaigns, with the provincial election less than a week away. We're very pleased uh, to announce that we are committed to a children's hospital right here in Surrey at this site. In Surrey, B.C. Conservative leaders stated that given its growing population, Surrey needs to further expand its health services dedicated to women and children. Backing up this claim, Surrey Memorial Hospital Emergency Room Dr. Randeep Gill says SMH is overrun and has exhausted its resources. Our department was built for approximately 20,000 patients, but currently we see over 55,000 patients annually with, a, with an increase of five to eight percent per year. Rustad noting that his party has not released their full platform with only five days until the provincial election. We wanted to be able to make announcements uh, every day. We'd be making you know one, two, three announcements every day in terms of our platform. Also on Monday, eating pie in Surrey, BC NDP leader took time to criticize Rustad's plan announced earlier this month in regards to public car insurance with the Insurance Corporation of British Columbia. John Rustad and the BC Conservatives uh, want to disassemble our insurance program here in BC that's delivering some of the most affordable rates in Canada. On the BC Conservatives website, it says it plans to quote, end ICBC's monopoly and bring fair competitive car insurance to drivers across the province, as well as restore rights for motor vehicle accident victims who fall under the no-fault insurance system. The only consequence of that is that rates are going to be higher, in some cases double. EB compared ICBC rates to those provinces that deal with private car insurance. My partner and I currently live in Langley and we pay about $2,000 insurance per year, mm -hmm. whereas my sister, who is still with her family in Toronto, pay about $4,000 a year. The BC Greens were not on the campaign trail Monday. The provincial election is taking place on October 19th. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.